Hi, this is Magic Park Memories. I'm just going for a walk. Uh, it's finally warm. It's Friday, January 19th, but we're supposed to get colder weather this weekend, as low as 35 degrees. So I just like to take a moment out and talk about job hunting, unemployment, and I think it's important for us all to share our stories with each other. So we're in the same boat and I'm trying to be resourceful, but I'm unemployed. I've been unemployed since the end of October of 2023. I have not yet received a job offer and I am using different websites to find a job. I'm using flex jobs, which is not worth it in my eyes to pay for. And the headquarters is outside of the United States. It's in Puerto Rico. And when you call for any assistance, they're just reading a script. I'm using Indeed and Monster.com, Lincoln. So when you use Indeed and you have your resume and you have all your personal information on your resume, Indeed will contact you through their message service. So you're not gonna get a direct email. You have to go into the account and look at it. And I just wanna say that Looking for a job is so different now compared to five years ago. And um, if you're not collecting unemployment, you are not counted as a statistic for unemployment. You, so when they tell you so many people are unemployed, they're only counting the ones that are collecting unemployment benefits. And this AI, artificial intelligence, it's ruining the economy. I don't care what anybody says. It's costing people jobs and it's just going to get worse and more people are going to get unemployed because of this. Now I'll tell you why I am unemployed. I was working for a land and title insurance business and it's in the real estate industry. So you do searches on houses when they're bought and you gather all the papers together before the closing. Well, due to our government, the real estate market went south. So many, many people in that business lost their jobs, not just mortgage lenders, but other people, abstractors. There are so many different people who lost their jobs. And so there's a couple of websites I think you should check out because it tells you who's laying off. One is dailyjobcuts.com, Daily Job Cuts. Dot com and the other one is layoffs period fyi dot com layoffs dot fyi dot com and you can clearly see what companies are laying off and so if you see that then that's a good indicator not to apply to those companies because they're not hiring and I'm very upset because I feel like there's no human resource department anymore in these companies we're basically interviewing ourselves for these jobs when i apply for a job on indeed i get a link and you have to enter the link in your screen and basically they're asking you to answer like 25 questions and to record yourself and then share the video with them i mean that's crazy but i'm sorry but we're interviewing ourselves. We're, we're not even talking to the other side. I mean, I'm jumping through so many hoops when I'm applying for jobs. I'm taking typing tests. I'm testing my computer because they want to see the speed of the internet. I'm interviewing myself with their questions and videotaping myself at the same time. And then I'm taking Microsoft skills tests, all these tests. And guess what? You don't hear from them. You upload everything, you give it to them, you're polite, you're professional, and there's no communication after that. They don't even respond to you and say, oh, thank you, I received your video or I received your test. There's just a lack of communication. Okay, so definitely there's no people at companies in the HR department we're taking away jobs from HR. We're interviewing ourselves. 
And then when I get emails from, they call themselves talent acquisition people, you read the whole email, they tell you the job that they have and that they would like to apply you for that job. At the end of the email, there's no contact, there's no phone number where you can call them. And then if you do respond through email, it says no reply. They don't even want you to reply through email. So it's really hard to communicate with people these days, and it shouldn't be. We have a phone. People need to pick up the phone and call you. They need to talk to you. And then I'm getting rejections through the email saying in the third sentence, unfortunately, we decided to move ahead with a candidate who's better fit for the job than you are. Or I've been getting a lot of these that the, the employer decided not to hire at all due to internal business decisions. They said that they're not gonna fill the position. So basically they wasted everybody's time and most likely they did one of two things. They took that job and gave it to internal employees and split the duties or they just gave it to somebody else internally. So they're wasting your time. So the two websites that I gave you earlier in the video, I hope you use it and look at the companies that are laying off. That's very important. And I'm so against this AI because it's reading your resumes, it's copying and pasting other people's texts. It's really not original and uh, I don't like it. So if you know anybody that's unemployed, looking for a job, please share this video with them. Hopefully it will help them. And um, I would appreciate any comments you tell me about your experience, about looking for a job. Please share what's going on. I would appreciate it. And um, thank you for listening. Have a good day.